Hey everyone, I'm Amanda the Red Witch Bitch and today I kind of want to tackle a difficult topic. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions upon shifting, so I kind of want to do a video about this. And I've done divination on this, I've done research on this. You can believe me, you cannot believe me, I don't give a fuck. First off, a lot of people are using a lot of different definitions for shifting. And not all of them mean the same thing. I had made a video on TikTok about how shifting is absolutely bullshit, but I didn't take into account the other definitions that people have, that some actually have truth to them. Okay, first up, uh, mm, I don't even quite know how to break this down, so I'm just going to go with this and please just try to follow along. There is shifting into a different, not a different dimension, but a different reality. This is manifesting, okay? So you can shift and manifest. That is a thing, absolutely a thing. So you can shift your reality depending on what you manifest, what you want. Um, say that you are um, shifting to use, or you're manifesting to use, um, to get more money or to um, find your twin flame soulmate or to, um, have a better home life. You can manifest this. You can shift this. That is absolutely a thing. Okay, we're gonna put that over here and we're gonna keep it safe because that is a thing and this is mm. another thing I've seen a lot. It is gonna take a lot of explaining. You can't shift into Hogwarts. You can't shift into a different dimension. We are not interdimensional beings. Now our souls, yes, absolutely, our souls can shift into different dimensions when we are asleep. But you have to take into account what happens to our body in this realm and what happens to the, our body if we have a body in that other realm. We may not exist in that other realm or that other us might have consciousness and not want to give up that body. We cannot just switch into a different self that messes with timelines and that messes with interdimensional bullshit. It is scientifically impossible. You can't even do this with a quantum jump with a quantum accelerator. It's not possible. Now on a spiritual sense, um, Hogwarts and Star Wars, this, these universes, the Marvel universe, um, the Doctor Who universe, all of these universes that we have created and that media has created and that we have put stock in, we have believed in it, we have watched these episodes, we have watched these movies, we have put part of ourselves into it. We have invested energy into these things. This, along with the whole population doing the same thing, has manifested and created the universe. We cannot get into this universe. It is in a different dimension. It is tucked away. It is somewhere else. There are measures in place so that we cannot get into that, at least not yet. Um, we can't just shift into Hogwarts. We can't just shift to Tatooine. We can't just shift into, um, you know, Doctor Who's England. We can't do that. Um, there are measures set in place that we can't do this. And there are heavy, it is guarded, essentially. It is shielded so that if we can find it, we can't get into it. Now, follow me with this. Now, say that somebody has a, um, experience of shifting into Hogwarts. This is in your fucking head. Now, I don't mean to see you're cra I, I'm not saying you're crazy. I'm not discounting anybody. However, however, shifting like this and putting yourself into a different alternate reality, alternate universe, different dimension, these things, um, that can cause dissociation and maladaptive daydreaming. Maladaptive daydreaming is a mental disorder and yes, you can break out of it, but it's not suggested that you give it to yourself. You can't escape your own reality to be in Hogwarts to learn magic. You can learn magic here. You can't learn that type of magic because that doesn't exist to us, at least not yet. You have to deal with your own reality here and now. This is an escapism. This is absolutely escapism. You have to deal with your trauma and you have to deal with your shadows and you have to deal with the bullshit, absolute bullshit that happens here in order to heal from it. So you don't want to escape and just be somewhere else. I have also heard the um, ability to shift into the astral. This is astral projection, absolutely a thing. Now, what scares me, what scares me 
is that I have heard somebody tell me that they have shifted by opening a portal in the astral. Do you have any idea how fucking dangerous that is? Absolutely, it's genius, but it's so dangerous if you don't know how to protect yourself. <sighs> opening portals into the astral can be dangerous if you don't know where you're going, if you don't have the correct coordinates, um, because nothing is still, everything is always moving. So with time travel theory, you have to have the exact coordinates of the exact placement of the planet or the time that you are shifting into. If not, you can end up in deep space somewhere. And I'm not saying this can happen to your soul um, or get lost because you'll always have a connective tether connected to your body, to your astral self. I'm saying that it's dangerous if you don't have the correct coordinates. You can be put somewhere that you put yourself in danger because the astral isn't just meeting with dead relatives and meeting with being higher beings and seeing different things and going to your Akashic records. It's nothing like that. It, it does have those elements, but the astral is a very dangerous place and you have to be protected. Touching back on the body snatching thing, why would it be okay to body snatch even if it's your own self? Would you want to be body snatched by a you from the future or you from the past? Absolutely not. You have to think of the consciousnesses of the other yous in these other universes. You cannot body snatch. And if you stay around as a soul to body snatch a child, you'd have to still grow up in order to be into this universe. And then that is taking away from the soul that already claimed that body. You can't body snatch somebody else because they already have a soul and that is wrong. You have, there are so many things that you have to take into account before you even think about this, before you can even think about shifting, shifting in the way of moving to a different reality. This is the only reality that we can get into right now. We can shift our um, manifestations and we can manifest into a different reality, but we cannot manifest ourselves into Hogwarts. That doesn't happen. That is not a thing. In later videos, I will show y'all how to astral project. I will show y'all how to manifest things and how to use all of this. But right now, this is just, I have seen way too much on TikTok and on the internet about people saying that they have shifted into crazy fucking realities. And it makes me think that they have lost themselves because how could you not? How could you not? If you think that you have shifted into the Sherlock universe or the Marvel universe, what's so great about that? What's so great? We can, if you can't deal with your problems here, you shouldn't be able to deal with problems there. You can't deal with problems there because just because you move or you want to move into a different reality doesn't mean your problems are going to go away. You are still going to have the same problems within you and you need to deal with those in a proper and healthy manner, AKA therapy and shadow work. I'm sorry, somebody had to say it. For those of you still around, I am sorry that it sounds like a rant and I don't mean for it to be. I am not mad at y'all. I just want y'all to be safe. Anybody following me, anybody who looks up to me, the, for guidance and answers. I don't want to frighten y'all. And I am sorry if I have ever done that in this video, but I want y'all to be safe because I was not. I've learned from my mistakes. I have fucked up and I don't want y'all to fuck up like I did. Now I have never shifted because I knew better innately. Um, but if to anybody trying it, you can try. I'm not gonna stop you, but I'm not gonna say it's real either. Somebody really needs to define these things like properly, all these different types of shifting, shifting into realities, shifting your own reality, um, shifting into different dimensions. Like all of these, these are all different things and they all have the same exact definition. Shifting, same word, three different things. What the fuck? So again, until next time, I'll see you later. Have fun and happy witching.